I'm really excited to see Elvis. It feels a little bit sticky on my lips. Obviously, we can't go inside. Here's my outfit for the fair. Did you make a friend here? I did. <laughs> vlog we're on our way to go see Elvis we've been hearing so many good things about it like everyone keeps saying that it's like one of the best movies like visually and stuff that they've seen so we're finally going we're going to the fancy theater to watch it tonight at Fashion Island it's called the lot we've taken you guys before but it's the one where you like you have a table and you like get a server and everything you can order like full meals like Trevor usually gets pokey or something like that I usually get chicken tenders I was eyeing the menu I'm I might do either the mac and cheese or there's like a prosciutto flatbread for some reason I want something different tonight so between those not sure what I'm gonna get I'll decide when we sit down but I'm really excited to see Elvis. I've heard that it's very long, so it's great that we're watching it at this theater because that's like the super comfy, giant recliner loungy seats. So it'll be a good experience, especially for such a long movie. But just did very, very natural makeup. I'll show you guys what I use for my brows because they look like they're freshly laminated and I haven't laminated them in, God, when, whatever was the last time I took you guys with me to get my brows laminated, I think it was like three or four months ago. And this product that I used is like amazing. Like they're sticking straight up. Not even Anastasia Beverly Hills, the brow freeze does that. Like this is way better. So I'll show it to you guys when we get back. But yeah, we're on our way right now. I have on, whoa, okay now. I'm just wearing the Shein top, little crop top, and then my Adidas joggers and I just have my YSL because I still haven't unpacked it from the bachelorette weekend. <laughs> We are back from Elvis, which was so freaking good. If you guys have been thinking about seeing it, highly recommend. It was incredible. Austin Butler deserves all the fucking awards this year. He was phenomenal in it. I know like a lot of people before the movie came out were like making fun of the fact that he would like sometimes in interviews just like slip into the Elvis accent or like persona and stuff for a second. But when you see the movie you understand why like he really truly embodied elvis and i'm sure it was like a thing that he studied for a long time to get into and it's just kind of been like a hard thing to break because he just he blew me away he was incredible and obviously it was so fucking visually spectacular i mean it was a Baz Luhrmann picture so of course it was going to be i mean you've got moulin rouge romeo and juliet the great gatsby all of those kinds of movies and elvis was just as visually spectacular the costumes in this movie were probably some of the best costumes like if they don't win some awards for best costumes i'm gonna be very very surprised so yeah it's a long movie like you'll see the runtime but it, honestly it didn't pace like that it didn't really feel like that to me never at any point was i like oh there's more movie like it all felt very organic as to like the length of the movie so yeah highly recommend go see Elvis. It was so good. But I did tell you guys I was going to show you what I use for my brows. They have fallen because they are not laminated anymore and honestly nothing can keep them up for longer than a few hours but this has definitely been the best product that I've found so far. So I just got this in from Sephora but this is the Iconic London 
what's the name of it on here i can't remember yeah liquid brow so this stuff is so good it literally just like you just need to put a little bit through the brow and then i do also have i think it's the kosas air brow or something i do have that in my brows as well just more to like fill in for color wise but after you brush this through what i like to do is actually take the flat part right here and use that to just kind of press my brows down and that's how they like stay up and they look like super fluffed and i got a little extra product now because there's all right product in my brows so please keep that in mind right now i have product on top of product so don't judge that part if you're only doing like one layer of this stuff as you should they'll look like how my brows looked earlier but yeah i love it like i said they look like they're freshly laminated it's insane so like i said this is by far the best brow product that i have found if you want that kind of like laminated brow effect but if you do want this effect and you want it to last all day actually get your brows laminated then use this and like they'll literally like be like this until you wash your face i did get a couple of other things from sephora but i think we're gonna go to sephora either tomorrow or on sunday to return and exchange some of this so i finally decided to get the charlotte tilbury flawless filter and they were sold out of a lot of colors and i thought i could get away with tan because i mean i'm super dark right now but this is just like a little bit too warm for my skin tone like, do you see that it just it came off as orange on me so i definitely need to go down a shade in this i should be like in the medium tan range not in the tan tan range and definitely not as like warm as i got this one but i also got these because i saw people try this on tiktok but these are the new urban decay lip bonds these are an unbreakable liquid lip color it's like instant shine but the color lasts all day so it's basically like a liquid lipstick that starts off with a glossy finish and then it just kind of like melts into a liquid lipstick but <sighs> I threw Trevor's shoes down the stairs and he came to retrieve them right now. But people say that it's like a lot more comfortable than a liquid lip. So I got two colors. Where are you on? You're back. Okay. <laughs> Trevor's leaving. Bye. <laughs> I got Safe Word, which was supposed to be like a, like a, they said like a nutmeg nude. And then I got the color PDA. I did try on Safe Word. I was really excited about it. And unfortunately, it's like too light for my skin tone. It makes me look like I have powdered donut lips, which I'm not into. But here's what it looks like. And then that's what I'm talking about. Like compared to my skin color, this like actually when it dries on me, it actually dries lighter than what it looks like in the tube. And... The color just did not work so i'm gonna be returning that one but i will keep this one this one is pda i haven't like fully tried this and reviewed it maybe we'll do it tomorrow trevor and i are gonna go out to dinner so maybe i'll wear this but here's this color just kind of like a pink color but i think it like dries down to like not as bright so i'll wear this one tomorrow for dinner and we'll test it out see how long lasting it is and stuff like that but yeah just wanted to mainly share what i used for my brows i did like a whole tiktok review on it so if you guys want to see like the actual first impression go check out my tiktok anyways yeah i just wanted to share that stuff with you but i'm gonna go down for the night so i will see you guys in the morning <gasps> did you just get a bath did you just get a bath oh my goodness oh, oh my gosh what is this what is go get it <laughs> Look at you, you're so clean. And you're still wet. <laughs> Good boy. You're so clean, look at you. You want another? Oh. Good afternoon, you guys. I just finished filming a video. It was like a YSL bag Jeep unboxing from DHgate. If you guys missed it, I think it was the video before this one. So definitely go check that out because it is really convincing. I'll show it to you guys here too. But if you guys like want to see the in-depth review of the DHgate bag, definitely check out that video. I went into like a lot of detail taking a look at like the quality of everything. I even did a little bit of a comparison to my real YSL bag. But I'm gonna film a second video right now and I wanted to try the Urban Decay Lip Bond. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to Sephora today. I was hoping I'd be able to, but I just wanna get two videos filmed so I don't have to worry about it for a couple of weeks. And so I'd rather just focus on that. But I'm gonna try out 
this lip bond. Again, it's supposed to start out glossy and that supposedly kind of just like dries into a very comfortable version of a liquid lipstick. So we'll test that out. The color again is PDA because I'm going to return the other one because it makes me look like I just ate a powdered toenail. But again, here's the lipstick. Okay, this color isn't like as bright and crazy as I thought it was gonna be. I'm actually very happy about that. Not as glossy as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be way glossier. But I'm not mad. And then Trevor and I are going to kind of walk around the Corona Del Mar CDM area. I look like Kim Possible because I have just the top lip done. <laughs> and then we're going to dinner. There's like this restaurant we've been wanting to try called tavern kitchen or something and we have reservations for an early dinner so we're gonna go there after we walk around we actually you guys the selling sunset oc office is in corona del mar so that's kind of like our whole reason why we're gonna go take a walk down there <laughs> it's because we want to go check out the selling sunset oc office <laughs> i'm sure no one's in today it's saturday so it's a good time to creep okay so first impression, it's very comfortable. And again, this color is not as bright as I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be like crazy pink, but I do like it a lot. This is a good summer color. If you're tanner and you just want like some color on your lip, but you don't want it to be too bold or crazy, I do like this. It feels a little bit sticky on my lips. Just like a little bit, not like so much that it's annoying, but I can definitely feel that it's not like fully dry. So it doesn't dry down right away and Again, I thought it was going to be glossier. There is like a slight sheen, but I thought it was going to be like full on glossy, but I don't mind. I'm not like the biggest gloss girl. I do prefer more of like a satin finish. I like matte just because it lasts for forever and I hate reapplying lipstick. That's actually why I don't wear a ton of lipstick. And if I do, I wear a liquid lipstick so I don't have to reapply. But I do feel like a lot of liquid lipsticks are very drying when they're fully matte. So I prefer a satin one, which usually doesn't last as long. And this one feels definitely more on like the satiny side, but slightly sticky. I know I already said it, it's much stickier than I anticipated, but not like terrible. Oh, I was supposed to have shaken this for five seconds. I wonder if that makes a difference. Let me see. Let me apply a little bit more and see if that made a difference. Less sticky. <laughs> okay, so shake it. <laughs> Oh no, it's starting to dry down, so it's sticky again. Okay, shaking it didn't make that a huge difference, but I would follow their directions and still shake it. But yeah, this is supposed to be an unbreakable color with an intense and full color payoff that won't crack or feather. And that's not supposed to transfer or smudge, and it's apparently water resistant. We'll see how it goes. I'll wear it throughout the day. I'll keep you guys updated on the vlog. But so far, I like this color. I would give this formula I guess 7.5, 8 out of 10. I'm not the biggest fan of feeling a stickier lipstick on my lips, but it is comfortable and it does feel like hydrating and moisturizing. So that does give it some points. But like I said, I'll check in with you guys throughout the day and let you know how I'm liking it. So for like the last week or two, I have been like on a new smoothie recipe kick for the summertime. I've been drinking the same smoothie since I started this fucking channel. I still love it. I will absolutely continue to drink it, but I've just been wanting something new, something a little bit more summery and tropical. So I grabbed a bunch of ingredients from Trader Joe's and I've been loving this one. So I'll show you guys how I make it. I'm missing one ingredient though. Vital proteins, collagen to get that protein in. We know, <laughs> basically. I just wanted a more tropical feeling smoothie. So for this one, I do like a half cup of raspberries. I just eyeball this. It doesn't have to be like exact. The most important thing is making sure I'm doing enough so that everything fits in here to blend. And then just for some sweetness, because I did this without these the first couple times and it was good, but I felt like it needed a little bit more sweetness. I put in just like a couple of pitted dark sweet cherries just to give it like I said, a little bit more sweetness because these are really, really sweet. Then we got mangoes. Again, about a half cup. This one I don't mind going a little bit over because I like the mangoes to be the main flavor in here. And then lastly, again, a half cup of peaches. That should be good. And then take two scoops of the Vital Proteins Collagen just for a protein kick in here. Water so that it will blend. 
should be enough. And then finally, I do about a half cup of this Oikos Vanilla Triple Zero Blended Yogurt. It honestly tastes a little bit sweeter than like your regular Greek yogurts that you're gonna get. So it is nice in this smoothie so that it doesn't make it too tart. I just eyeball all of these half cups. I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing stuff. I'm not like crazy strict when it comes to eyeballing servings for calories and stuff, just as long as it's pretty close. I think it's fine. I don't think you need to scrutinize down to like one gram or one calorie. And then I'm gonna blend her up. Peaches always get in the way in here. And then if you guys remember from the bachelorette party last weekend, I'm gonna use my bus cup. I've been liking using it for the smoothie. Cup or vase. Technically it's a vase, but they were using it as a cup there. So I think it's perfectly valid to use it as a cup. This looks a little thicker than usual, so hopefully it'll pour out. No! Oh, I just lost so much. I spilled some down the side and it looks like her brain spilled out. <laughs> there you go, there's a smoothie. By the way, if you have one of these and you like have never used it as a cup try it because like honestly the grip on it is so good for just like walking around and stuff mm. so good super summery just like absolutely delicious mm. Yum. but i'm like trying to decide so for our little dinner date today slash walk around CDM, I was gonna do this top with like a pair of trousers, but I'm thinking because I threw on these biker shorts just for like during filming so I could be comfortable. I'm actually wondering if I wanna just wear this outfit tomorrow to the fair. We're going to the OC fair tomorrow if I didn't mention that because like these are long enough because we're gonna walk to the fair. We live like a 10 minute walk from the fair, but they're long enough that I don't have to worry about chafing when we're doing all that walking but they're really flattering like i feel really comfortable in them and i'm like this top would be perfect because since we're gonna be like walking in the sun i was gonna originally wear that top i had when i was doing my lipstick to the fair but i was worried about like under boob sweat and it showing up on that top so i think that this top would actually be better because it doesn't even touch my under boob like it's this crop top is really really short like i constantly get under boob in it which is my concern about if i wear it to the fair i can't raise my aunt because I may end up flashing a bunch of people. So I would just have to be careful about that. But I'm leaning towards just saving this top and these shorts for tomorrow's look and maybe wearing that bodysuit today. I don't know. I'll officially decide in a little bit. Right now I just want to stay in this outfit because I'm so hot from filming and it's really, really cool. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll change into that bodysuit again later for a little adventure. But anyways, I need to upload those files because that YSL video goes up for me tomorrow, for you guys, it was a couple days ago, so it's already up. And then also, actually, very exciting news. I can't show you, so I'm sorry to be that annoying person. My bridesmaid's dress from Michelle's wedding just came in, so I'm gonna try it on for her and send her a photo because I'm definitely the first one to get it out of the group, so I know she's been like dying to see it on one of us. I was texting her this morning, I was like, I think it's coming. And she was like, oh my God, send me a picture. So I'm gonna go do that for her. Then I'm gonna work on uploading that video. Oh my God, I just realized I should've updated you guys. So I've been drinking from the straw there is no lipstick residue on that. Can you guys see that? My lipstick's completely undisturbed. Somehow it's gotten shinier. I don't know how that happened, but like, nothing, nothing. And then again, lipstick is undisturbed. Like what sorcery is this lipstick? I wish that they came in more flattering neutral colors because like I said, this one that I got, Safe Word, this was one of two neutral colors. The other neutral color is lighter than this one and this one's too light for me. So I wish that they would come out with a more inclusive nude range, but this PDA color, I love it. And like, wow, I'm so shocked with how well it's staying. But anyways, it is time to try on my bridesmaid's dress. Again, I'm so sorry that I'm teasing that for you guys. I know that's annoying. You guys will see it in November at the wedding. <laughs> okay, I am uploading. This video because it has to go up tomorrow which oh my gosh <laughs> I don't think you guys know look at who's back she's been resurrected she's repaired this is my personal laptop I've been 
editing and running my channel off of my work laptop which is like I mean it's great that I have a second MacBook and I've been able to keep the channel going despite this one having water damage but I've been wanting to get my laptop back for so long so I am super grateful that this is back they were able to fix the water damage they didn't have to end up replacing the motherboard or the logic board whatever you want to call it which I was really surprised about they were actually able to fix the logic board so I was ready to basically be given a blank laptop like all the data wiped and everything but since they were able to fix it I still have all my data I had all of like the videos that I've been working on for vlogmas still on here but anyways I am grateful that it's repaired and it's working and I can get back on track with running my channel off of my personal laptop as opposed to a borrowed laptop from work but I'm uploading everything I still can't get over the fact that my lipstick is not coming off on that straw that is insane so definitely recommend. Oh, and you know what's so nice about getting to use my personal laptop again, which has so much storage on it? I don't have to compress all of my files anymore. I'm so happy. Oh my God, I accidentally ejected my external hard drive, which I need. But it's gonna be so nice not having to compress my clips anymore. That always added in at least a few hours to my editing process. So this is just so much better. But yeah, I'm gonna work on this. Oh, Michelle just answered me. <laughs> she's like it's so pretty and holy crap you look so tan i am very tan right now i'm only gonna get tanner too and then when i come back from cabo i'm gonna blend into this couch behind me it's gonna be insane like this is my base tan right now for cabo <laughs> anyways okay i'm gonna work on this video i think we're gonna leave here in about 15 minutes or so so i'll give you guys a little peek at my outfit before we head out we are heading out it's my outfit bodysuit is from shopo Jeans are Abercrombie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm just wearing my platform sandals, and then this is the new dupe that is incredibly convincing. But we're just getting smart set up, and then we're gonna go to CDM and hopefully see the uh, Selling Sunset office. So for you Selling Sunset fans, there's the Oppenheim Group Orange County office. Oh, wow. These surfboards are cute. I like how it's like a little thing for the fact that they're in Orange County in CDM. But there it is. Obviously we can't go inside. First off, I think that they're closed. Second off, they'd laugh because we clearly can't buy anything or any houses. But there's the door. Oh my God, you can, I don't know if you guys can see inside. It's, it's the desks. They have the metal desks. There's a motorcycle. Collection's too hard. And they've got this like cute mirror. Oh, how cute. Little oh, candy bench. <laughs> you want a picture? Yeah. Okay. So we're done with our walk and we're heading to dinner. Or liner, I should say. Yeah, I've been using liner. Yeah. We saw this restaurant called Tavern Kitchen a while back, like the first time we went to come take a walk in this area. And we've been wanting to try it, so we figured we go. We're about a half hour early for our reservation, though, so hopefully they'll take us. But it is really early. I don't think that there's a wait anyway, so shouldn't be a problem. But the menu looks so fucking good. I'm so excited. I'm starving right now. <laughs> We are so full, like so full. The food was amazing. We got the crab bisque, so good. Lobster bisque. Our lobster bisque. Then we got the wedge salad, which was, so which wedge salad did you prefer? The one at, the one at uh, Laguna Cliffs? Okay, but it was still, the wedge salad here was really good. It's like B plus and A. Okay, and then I got the linguine and clams phenomenal trevor got it was like a shrimp pasta 
tequila shrimp pasta and the pesto was like a green chili pesto. He really liked it. I couldn't eat it because it's spicy. But our server was so sweet. We mentioned that our anniversary was like a few days ago. So she gave us a little free dessert, like a chocolate pot de creme, which was so good too. So we are crazy full. I mean, that's the only meal that either of us have eaten today besides me having my smoothie. So I think we're set for the day because we are stuffed. So just took a shower, touched up my hair and stuff, and we're about to head to the fair. I just need to put on a little bit of makeup. I don't wanna wear foundation. It's gonna be so hot. I'm already sweating, honestly. Like, my whole face is already wet. So I wanna do foundation, but I do just like wanna do a little bit to fix myself up. But I got in so many products from Kajab Beauty, so I might use some of these. Also, here's my outfit for the fair. It's the one that I said I was gonna wear yesterday. Biker shorts and crop Arshian, and then this is an old Urban Outfitter zip up, then I think I'm gonna do my coach waist bag. But for the makeup, like I said, I wanted to use possibly some of these products. They sent me this like shimmer trio, or not, not trio, but shimmer eyeshadow stack. This is an orange blossom. Ooh, this is another cheek stamp. This one's like a pinkier color. And what is this? A lip mousse. Oh my God, how cute is this? Oh, I love it. It's like in the shape of a heart. I just don't know if I'd want to wear this color today. I feel like I want something a little bit more natural. Oh, no, well, maybe. It's a maybe. I just love the packaging though. How fucking cute is that? Oh, and then they also sent me this clear gloss. So that's a maybe as well. I mean, that goes with everything. And then this is really, really cool. It's like a mascara trio. They're all magnetic and they just snap together, but there is a clear one, a volumizing, and a lengthening. So three different types. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready and do my face. Oh my God, I'm sweating so hard. I even have the AC on, I'm sure you guys can hear it, but I'm so hot right now. But I'm gonna get myself fixed up and I'll let you know what I use and what I like. Makeup is done, just kept it simple foundationless you guys i cannot stand foundation right now i rarely wear it. i wore it yesterday because i was filming and then we went out and stuff but i took advantage of the fact that i was wearing foundation and i filmed like two videos for you guys before that i think last time i had worn foundation well it was anna's bachelorette party like the night out and then before that it had been weeks since i wore foundation because i just i can't stand the thought of foundation right now like the thought of a full face of makeup literally sounds like the worst thing in the world to me i've been just very into light foundationless makeup just like some spot concealing a little bronzer a little blush and calling it a day but from the kajal beauty i use the eyeshadow on my lids and then in the inner corner they have like a nice shimmer to them and then i feel like if you use a shadow brush that you've sprayed with some setting powder it would make them like really intense so i really like those i also used the lip product it's just so cute i'm gonna pack this in my bag and then i also used the blush as well it's a little light but i wanted something a little bit more subtle since i have such a subtle face on but anyways i'm gonna go pack up my little fanny pack, waist bag, whatever you want to call it, because I think our friend's going to be here in a little bit. And then we're going to pick up some stuff to pregame with from the liquor store for while we're walking over. Cheers! Oh, they're coming after you, Rebecca. Uh, <laughs> she's so scared so about scared. open container. I'm in trouble. This is not Vegas. OC guys. Fair is happening right now. They've got so many more, like, important things to worry about besides us drinking a few cans on the walk. This is really good. You guys should have heard the fucking scream I let out, but we found 10 pound bun. Yay! Literally like my favorite fucking stop. Oh my God. Literally my favorite fucking thing. Hi guys. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Hi. Hi. I know I don't have food. I'm so sorry. I didn't have cash. 
Hi. I've got I've got nails. Does that help? It helps. Aww. Did you make a friend here? It's so fluffy. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh my god, they're all like flocking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few buddies. So tired. <laughs> okay, we came back home a little while ago. I've been so tired. Like, my legs hurt, my feet hurt, all of it hurts. I'm so full right now. I got all of my foods. I got 10 pound bun, corn on the cob. Trevor got curly fries. I'm like, what else did I eat? <laughs> I'm like in pain. Chocolate covered licorice, which I still have some of. God, I feel like I'm missing something. And then my deep fried Oreo, but was that it? God, it felt like I ate so much more than that. But anyways, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Steve Lacey, putting my heart on a line.